I'm Delia and this is the place that I call home, that I call the nothingness and chaos that allows for art to be born. My name is Anthony DeNaro, aka Why Not, um, a dancer, um, composer of music as well, also a visual artist. Hola, my name is Ruby Morales and I am a dance artist. I hope this message finds you well. My name is Keelan Arnold. I go by Q, which is an acronym, stands for Create, Unite, and Empower. So when somebody comes to a Ranya's museum, they walk into our family home. They see the hundreds of paintings that my dad has created since he came to the United States from Colombia. They see the books that my mother has written about the history of this place. So there's this really interesting combination of being grounded in away and in here in visual arts in written word in myself i'm a, a mover i'm a media artist i love to have my hands on all kinds of things and i'm really really inspired by this particular ecosystem i think for me the more important thing when it comes to production of or of anything that i'm doing whether it be visual arts music or dance or anything is that i need more support for the leading up to the final performance. And all those days and all those time and all that energy that happens before actually creating and before actually sharing the work is time creating, time making, time asking questions and cultivating and um, trying things and failing but trying again and working through things artistically, emotionally. Somebody asked me one day, hey Keelan, what do you need in order to fulfill the calling that you feel God has placed on your heart in order to change the world for the better. And I respond, space, time, money, those resources, yo. When you have a residency that allows for that time and that space, then we are able to kind of create the things that we want to do. To get to that point takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy, a lot of love, but you need the space and the support to be able to cultivate that work, to be able to plant some seeds and watch them grow, water them and nurture that seed, that artistic work. These residencies are being built to be in cycle with this land, to have artists who have been in a creative winter come just as the blooms are starting to come, as the snow is melting, as the frogs are starting to say, hello, I am out of hibernation. And then in the autumn to allow things to be released, like the leaves fall, but always in this place, there is peace and there is calm. And in a rural community, things move at a slower pace. And I think a lot of artists, they feel this need to move to the city because that's where the opportunities are and that's real. And also there's this need to slow down, this desire to slow down. And so this residency that Delia has generously offered the world is providing these resources for artists. We need a lot, a lot of support. We need to be held um, in order to get to to, to get to the space where we can start sharing our work. The final product is, in a lot of ways too, if you're dealing with improvisational styles, you know, that's that's the moment that, that you always get to, but everything leading up to that is really, really what you need help with the most, so. And so I will definitely could take advantage of it by focusing on this project, Searching for a True Move. And so I, I'm so, so grateful to have the access and the opportunity to share those things with artists, to share space, to share time, to share belief that creativity and creation is essential and that that process needs to be nurtured. We need that, we need that financial support, we need that space, any kind of support that we can get in order to really feel like we can make work that speaks to others, that speaks about ourselves, that shares, um, you know, ancestral knowledge, ancestral information. I think I, I definitely would support a residency or be um, happy to get a residency that deals a little bit more with like giving me time to produce what I want to do. 
However you feel called to support and provide towards this residency, I would personally really appreciate it. I know Delia would appreciate it. By supporting the creative residencies at A. Ibanez Museum, you are saying that you believe that art and artists matter. And it's participating in a system in which process and journey is more important than pro product and destination. Because art and life and relationships and nature are constantly unfolding on one another.